This is a lab exercise captured on video on the topic of error vector magnitude measurement taken from the lab tree of the Dreamcatcher ME1100 University Cosware. We are going to demodulate IQ signal using VSA software and measure the error vector magnitude of the modulated RF signal using an oscilloscope and VSA software. To get the most out of it, you should view the video along with the lab sheet. Please download the lab sheet from this link. You may want to pause this video to read the lab sheet first before proceeding with the video streaming. In signal demodulation, the received signal is demodulated and often compared with the reference signal to obtain modulation accuracy. Modulation accuracy is a measurement of signal left by subtracting the main signal with the reference signal and it generally involves precision demodulation of a signal compared with the reference signal. The difference between the two signals can be expressed in many ways, such as error vector magnitude, also known as EVM, magnitude error, phase error, I error, and Q error. In vector modulation, digital bits are transferred onto an RF carrier by varying the carrier's magnitude and phase. A constellation diagram shows the magnitude and phase relative to the carrier for all permitted symbol, and the symbol location of any constellation diagram is determined by its modulation format such as QPSK, FSK, and etc. The reference phaser of a signal can be calculated and compared with the measured phaser. The difference among the two phases form the basis for the EVM measurement. As shown in the figure, EVM is the scalar distance between the two phaser endpoints. In other words, it is the residue noise and distortion remaining after an ideal version of the signal has been stripped away. EVM could be defined differently for different modulation format, but as specified in the specific standard, it is the root mean square value of the error values at the instant of the symbol clock transition, while trajectory errors between symbols are ignored. In this lab session, we are going to measure the error vector measurement using the Dreamcatcher ME1100 training kit, Agilent 33220 series function generators, and an Agilent MSO oscilloscope. The ME1100 training kit consists of an IQ modulator, band pass filter with amplifier. As you can see, on the ME1100 training kit, there are two sets of amplifier and band pass filter circuits. One operates at 10 MHz and the other operates at 868 MHz. For this lab exercise, we shall only use the 10 MHz circuits. The Agilent 33220 function generators are connected to the computer via USB and are controlled by the provided IQ signal generation software to generate IQ signal with various modulation format and settings. One function generator is programmed to generate the I signal for the I port of the IQ modulator, while the other generates the Q signal for the Q port of the IQ modulator. The LO signal of the IQ modulator is fed from the 10 MHz reference signal of one of the function generators. The modulated signal from the IQ modulator is then connected to the Agilent MSO oscilloscope for demodulation and analysis using the Agilent VSA software installed on the same computer. The provided software IQ Signal Generator is used to communicate with the function generator to generate IQ signal with different modulation format and waveform settings. The GUI consists of three main portions which are Control Buttons, Waveform Settings and GUI Version. In the first exercise, we are going to generate IQ baseband signal using signal generator software and verify its output by using MSO oscilloscope. First, a computer with IQ signal generator software is connected to two 33220 series function generators and the output port of both function generators are connected to MSO oscilloscope. In IQ signal generator, select QPSK as the modulation format with symbol rate of 1 MHz. The output signals are changed to I and Q with function generator output of 2.0. In the IQG software controller window, in the control buttons section, click Start. 
the IQ waveform will be generated and downloaded into both function generators. A status window showing the downloading process will be displayed. Adjust the scale of MSO oscilloscope and verify the generated IQ waveform with IQ signal generator. Now, you can observe the waveform appears in oscilloscope are similar to the generated waveform in IQ signal generator software. We have seen the baseband signal generated by IQ signal generator. Now, we are going to demodulate the signal by using MSO Oscilloscope and Agilent VSA software. First, make the following connection by connecting the IQ signals to IQ modulator on ME1100 training board. The output port of the IQ modulator is then connected to channel 1 of MSO Oscilloscope. Connect the MSO Oscilloscope to the computer with VSA software via a USB cable. The same computer with VSA software where IQ signal generator is installed can be used to communicate with the MSO oscilloscope as well. In IQ signal generator software, click Resend to regenerate and download the IQ waveform to the function generator. In Agilent VSA software, set the center frequency to 10 MHz. with a span of 2 MHz. Then select single display format. To demodulate the signal, select measurement setup followed by measurement type and followed by digital demodulation to select digital demodulation. In digital demodulation properties, select QPSK as format. Set symbol rate to 1 MHz with points per symbol equal to 1 and result length equals to 228 symbols. Next, we are going to adjust the measurement and reference filter. In measurement filter, select root raised cosine and select raised cosine for reference filter and alpha per bt is set to 0 0.5. In window tab, change the display format to grid 2x2 to display the demodulated signal. Right click on window and select auto scale. By now you should be able to see the constellation diagram, spectrum channel, error vector time window and symbol per error summary table. From the summary table, the magnitude error and phase error can be observed. Now, you can observe the EVM is approximately 6.8% where this is the error after IQ modulator. Meanwhile, the spectrum channel shows the modulated signal spectrum at 10 MHz. Sometimes the error mechanism might affect a magnitude error only or phase error only or both. Thus, by reviewing the relative amount of each type of error, one can distinguish the error type. For example, when the average phase error is substantially larger than the average magnitude error, the dominant error mode might be caused by undesired phase modulation. Now, adjust the RC roll-off factor in IQ signal generator to 0 and increase the roll-off factor each time by 0 0.2 to observe how it affects the channel power, EVM value, magnitude error and phase error. Record down the observation for each selected roll-off factor value. From the observation, you can observe that by increasing the roll-off factor, the EVM value will reduce. In other words, Better modulation accuracy can be achieved with higher roll-off factor value. Next, repeat the experiment with different function generator output levels with steady roll-off factor of 0 0.5 to observe the impact of function generator output level. Start the experiment with function generator output level of 0 0.2 and increase by 0 0.1 each time. Record down the observation for each selected function generator output level. 
From the observation, it can be seen that the effects of increasing function generator output will reduce the EVM value, and also at the same time, it increases the channel power. In the IQ signal generator software, there is an impairment setting in the waveform setting panel. This impairment setting allows you to inject different types of predicted impairment to the IQ signal such as WB noise, IQ offset, interference, and etc. By injecting the impairment, you shall be able to observe the effects of the impairment to the IQ baseband signal and its constellation diagram. From the summary table, you can observe the EVM value before impairment injection is measured to be approximately 5.9%. Now try to insert impairment of IB noise with SNR of 15 decibels and click start. You will notice that EVM value has increased due to more error was added into the baseband signal. Compared with the EVM value measured previously, you can notice the EVM value has increased to approximately 9.8%. In wireless connection, amplifier is often used to improve the channel's power of the signal. Now let's look at the impact of adding an amplifier to the IQ modulated signal. Make the following connection by connecting the 10 MHz amplifier after the filter and IQ modulator are connected. The output port of an amplifier is then connected to the MSO oscilloscope channel 1. Repeat the procedure in experiment to determine the demodulation properties of the IQ modulator after the bandpass filter amplifier. Again, Vary the roll off vector and function generator output level in IQ signal generator and observe its effect on the channel power, EVM value, magnitude error, and phase error. Record down the observation. From the observation, it is clearly shown that the EVM increased after the 10 MHz amplifier is added to the connection. This is due to the harmonics generated by the amplifier. Amplifier is a non-linear device and generates harmonics in the amplification process. When roll-off factor is set to zero, the highest EVM is measured to be 20.12%, compared to EVM in the previous section which is 9.78%. Also, notice the value of channel power has been greatly increased. From the table, the channel power has been increased up to maximum 10.42 dBm, while in the previous section, the maximum channel power is only negative 1.31 dBm. In this lab session, we have learned about modulation accuracy and error vector magnitude, and also the impact of EVM by adjusting the roll-off and function generator output level. Meanwhile, we have also observed the effect of adding bandpass filter and amplifier to wireless communication network. Besides, the impairment injection also shows the effect of the different impairment to the generated baseband signal.